Hi, I'm Audio and Video Recording. Yep. How are you doing? Great. How are you today? Good. Uh, you know the rules, right? I'm going to ask one time, and then you're going, you're going to get arrested. Okay. The sidewalk is the barrier. Go over to the sidewalk, off the edge. You don't want to be constricted. I appreciate that. That's why if you stand on the grass over there and you turn your sign in, that would be the appropriate thing to do. But you've got to get off the grass and over on the sidewalk sure, over there. Yep. there. Sure, sure. Absolutely. Thank you, Graham. So, uh, Stasley, can you tell me what just happened here? Uh, before even any students came out, about one minute after arriving, uh, Louder? KPD came and rolled up and informed us that we would be arrested if we stood three feet that way. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I'm um, actually. Can you hold this sign? Because I'd like to get a little closer. <coughs> Thanks. Well, it doesn't sound like a big deal at all. But, uh, <laughs> you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna threaten me with, uh, with a cage. Then... Yeah. When's your appointment? Um, imminent, I suppose. I mean, I didn't have an ex exact time. Obviously, sometime before she goes away. Before I go away. So I told her. I'm not sure what you mean by going away. Well, she probably leaves for a bit. Some. Yeah. Yeah. She's. Like yeah. She's still got. She may still be finishing up. So, you know, obviously the headlines wouldn't look good of you know, arresting a school board candidate for, for campaign interference. So you sent uh, Kelly off by yourself, or what? Yeah, she's on her own today, but it's all right. There are going to be thousands of people watching the live stream at fr33agents.com today. So she's in uh, Philadelphia stripping her stripping for her rights. What time's that happening? Five o'clock. You have matches your shirt though. Would you like to try it on? Hi, I'm audio and video recording. Just pull the cruiser up uh, off to the edge a little bit. Hey man, how are you? Good, man. Put my hat on. Appreciate it. So I I was over there uh, while you guys were talking, but uh, what is the the problem with uh, 
this man who's running for school board being on the school property to the, hand out literature to parents? The issue is that the school district, particularly by and through the co-superintendent, Mr. Gurney, does not allow for any literature of any type to be handed out to parents or students without their prior approval. And uh, they don't want, it's not a campaigning area. So if it were poll time and they were running the polls, you could do that. But it's not acceptable to them now and they are not going to allow him to hand out vote for Ian things. Okay, I realize you don't make the laws, you enforce them, but yep. do you have any thoughts about the First Amendment and how this applies? I do. I, I, it's not the appropriate place to do that right now, particularly with the flow of people coming in and out and all the buses and cars. So it's just not appropriate. But so what part why, of... That's why we've got such nice stand and view areas. You could have a little table out here and you could have handed all kinds of goodies out. Yeah, so what, what part of the Constitution, the part where it says shall not be infringed, I mean, do you see the infringement happening here today? Do you see that you're enforcing an infringement on free speech? Not at all. Because Ian can stand out here and say, or anyone can, can stand out here and say whatever they want. It's a limited access building. You can stand out in front of City Hall and do it. So I've, it's just where you choose and at what time you choose to do it. And this is not the venue for that to take place. So you, you said he would be arrested if he stood on that part of the grass, but this part of the grass is okay. Um, so is that a free speech zone? No, it's a, uh, it's a property boundary zone. So is this public property? It's public property for public use to the outside of the grass and the sidewalk. But not there. So what what is that property? Who owns that? Well, I'm going to guess that the school district owns that and it in some definition I would say is public property but it's limited access and the school district owning the property even though we could call it public property has all the right in the world to limit whatever goes on on their property and they don't limit just you if the uh, local taco salesman or McDonald's or uh, Schwann's wanted to come in and sell stuff they wouldn't be allowed to do that either. So it's it's not anything to do with your views or or uh, what information you want to disseminate. That's just the rule. Okay. And we're just here visiting. I mean, I don't think you. I, I certainly don't feel that you pose any threat. So it's always nice to visit with you guys. Well, it's good to see you also. I would ask you pan out a little bit. I know I'm just not that photogenic. I don't know. <laughs> but I've got the the banner in the background. It's a really oh, great oh, shot. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. See that? So it's, it's he 